So let's go into our Wuji stance. Feet about shoulder width apart. Feet facing comfortably forward. Knees relaxed, just slightly bent. Bring your hips forward so the tailbone is pointing towards the floor. Feel like the top of the head is being lifted upward, elongating the spine. Bring the chin down and in a bit. Let the shoulders drop down. Arms come around slightly in front. Breathing in and out through the nose. And as you breathe in, let the abdomen expand outward, drawing the breath all the way down. And then you pause, and then with the exhalation, the abdomen contracts back towards the spine, pushing the breath all the way up and out your nostrils. And then we pause again before we begin the next inhalation. Just take a couple of nice deep breaths. Focus just on the breath. Let the, all your other thoughts just drift away. Feel your feet taking contact with the ground. Become aware of that connection to the earth. Connecting all the way down to the center of the earth. Feel the earth rising up to support you, to merge with you. Put both hands on the abdomen. Really feel the abdomen expand outward as you breathe in. And contract as you breathe out. Go ahead now and take one hand, put it on the chest. Do a little wave breathing. So as we breathe in, the abdomen expands to where you're basically, you feel like you're full. And let the air then continue to fill the body as it comes up into the chest and the chest rises. Then with the exhalation, the chest sinks, then the abdomen contracts. We pause and then we reverse. Let your body rock just a little bit in response to the breath, to the filling of the abdomen and the chest, and then the emptying of the chest and the abdomen. Just feel like you're being pushed by a wave, nice and gentle. Nice and deep. Thank you. 
Now I'll mirror you. Take your right hand, bring it over on the rib cage, a little lower than your armpit. Make a connection with the spleen. Then with your left hand, come across just above the elbow and cover the, that part of the arm. I'm gonna switch. So you, you keep it the same way. Right hand is on the spleen, left hand is on the arm. Just slowly breathe in and out. Feel that connection, don't switch. Sorry, I just didn't want to mess myself up. You want to make sure that the right hand is holding the body, the left hand is on the arm. So I'm not marrying you. It's called the spleen triple warmer. breathing. The triple warmer is your fight or flight response system. Overactivation of it causes autoimmune issues. So by holding this position, breathing nice and easy, we open up the flow, we find ourselves being calmed, being relaxed. Continue the wave breathing. Couple more nice deep breaths. Good. Bring your hands in front of the heart. Bring them up to the forehead, fingertips at the yin tongue point. Then trace a heart on your face. Three times. You can touch the face or just have the fingers an inch or so above the skin. And when you're finished with the three times on the face, now let's expand it outward down to the heart. Three times. And make it even larger, all the way down to the hips and the, the groin area. Three times again. Then sway nice and easy, one hand or two hand, doesn't matter. Turn nice figure eights with the hands. Bring it all the way up. Just do what feels natural here, getting the energies to cross over.
you feel like you've stirred up your whole Wei Chi, expanded it outward. Go ahead and lift the arms up, palms up. Just feel that energy coming down in the heavens into the palms, cascading down the arms. Go ahead and bring that energy right into the heart. Picture red light coming out of the palms, filling the chest with that warm, loving light. And let's do that again. Come all the way up. And just hold it for a couple of seconds. Don't worry about the breathing, breathe normal. Just soak up that energy. And then when you feel you've got a good grasp on it, bring it down. Let's go into sinking the chi, drop the hands down. They come up on along the sides, they just float up. And then they come around and in and down. So we breathe in as they come up. Pause, breathe out as they go down. breath, cause the arms to move. Just feel like they're floating up, coming around in a circle, then going down. One more time. Now we're going to expand out. We're bringing down the heavens, turn palms up, gather the energy as you breathe in, breathe out, pushing that energy down through the top of the head, down the torso, down the legs into the ground. Again. One last time. Good. Taking your index finger, go into the crease of the wrist and just wobble the hand as you kind of stick your finger in that little divot there. Stimulating the Shen Men or part seven. And switch, find that point, and then just kind of a little waving of the hand. Oops, fingers sink into that spot. Good. Coming back to Wuji stance. Just 
step up just a little bit wider so you have a nice stable platform heart to the sky so we breathe in open the chest look up to the sky breathe out bring that into the heart Bring the arms out, gather the energy, soak that energy up, and then bring it into the chest, into the heart. One more time. And we're going to continue almost the same movement, but to the side. So just turn and open. It's called open to the horizons and bring it in. Breathe in as you go to the side. Breathe out as you come back in. One more time each side. Good. Now we're going to do the same movement, but this time as we get out to the side, we're going to step out, really open the chest, then step in and step out. And step. Breathe in. wide step as you're comfortable with as always stay within your comfort range you should never ever feel any pain or discomfort if you do limit your motion One more time, each side. Now we're gonna do exactly the same movement, but we're gonna add the heart sound to it. So you're gonna breathe in, and then ha, ha. Ha. Ah. One more time each side. Ah. Ah. Good, just hold the hands in front of the heart in a prayer position for a moment. Just feel all that good energy coursing through the chest. Bring the hands down to the lower Dantian, six inches apart or so. 
As you breathe in, let them separate about three, four inches. As you breathe out, they come back to that starting point. Relax the hands and the palms, the fingers. Just let them kind of float with the breath as you massage that energy. Just building the energy between our palms. Good. Come back. So you're holding a ball. Roll the ball over so that your left hand is on top. I'll mirror you. It's called extending the palm to the horizon. Step out a little bit wider so you're nice and comfortable. Solid stance. You're going to turn and extend your left hand palm down out while the right hand stays right in front of the heart. Then you're going to bring it in. Roll the ball over, and then go to the opposite side. Maintain eye contact with the palm going out, coming back in the entire time. Breathing in, breathing out back to the center. Breathing in. more time each side. And then the hands drop, make connection to the earth. Step out to even a little bit of wider stance. Bring your left arm palm facing out. Right hand sweeps across the body, matches palms, and pulls the energy down the arm to the heart. And then we throw the energy that we no longer need out to be recycled. Then we come across with the opposite arm, pulling across, going out. Embracing lightning. Breathe out as you throw out. Breathe in as you come across the body. Breathe out. more time each side. Good, good. The hands drop down, come up the middle to the chest and turn out as we push it down. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Bring your feet close together this time as you breathe in. Come up on your toes, breathing that into the chest. Breathe out as you go down, the heels making contact with the ground again. So we lift our heels up, breathing in, breathing out, the heels come back down. Clearing to the lungs.
One more time. Good. Starting just with your left hand, come up the center line of the body, turn palm out and push out. So we're forming a big circle here as the hand rotates and spirals. We breathe in as it comes up. Pause, breathe out as it goes out and down. One more time, and then we're going to switch hands. Good. So now bring right hand up and around. Focus on bringing that energy up from the ground through the bottom of your feet, and then sending energy that no longer serves you to be recycled back into the earth. spiraling the energy. Good. One more time, and then we're going to alternate hands. One comes up, as that goes forward, the other hand comes up. So on this one, don't focus on the breath. Just try to do nice, easy, deep breathing. Focus on moving the energy. As we spiral it around. One full cycle, and then come down, hands by the lower down tap. Bring the energy up through the center line of the body, come up to the chest, push outward. And let them drop down and start over. Breathing in, breathing out. Forward, clearing the chi. Good. One more time. And we're going to continue doing the same movement, but as we push out, we're going to use the heart sound. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. 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 One more time. Ah. Moving the hands down and around, and one palm over the other, placing it over both over the chest, feel all that energy filling the chest. Let's do heart to the sky again. So just open, receiving that energy, bringing it into the chest. 
time. Good. Push the energy down. Making contact again with the earth. Step out to a little wider stance. Bend down with the knees, not the waist. So we're going straight down as we gather the energy. The wrists cross. Come up just about head height and then separate. Breathing in as you come up. Pause, breathe out as you go down. One more time. We're gonna do the same movement, but as we come across, we're gonna to turn to the side and then turn back to the center. So we go down, turn to the side, come back. Just a few more. One more time each side. All right, bring the arms down to the side and go right into flying. As you breathe in, let the wrists pull the arms up. Hands or fingers are along for the ride. Just get to the point where you feel like there's no effort in lifting the arms. They just drift up all on their own as you breathe in. We pause and they just kind of sink down as you breathe out. Now finding a focal point about 12 feet in front of you or a spot on the wall, you need to have a balance. For balance, you need a chair or hold against the wall, that's fine. Come up onto the toe and down. Synchronizing the breath and the movement so they all flow together. And then once that's comfortable, just lift the foot off the ground a little bit, put it back down. And then once that feels comfortable, see if you can keep the foot off the ground.
one more time. Good. And switch the opposite side. Just do a couple of flying feet on the ground. Now up onto the toes. And just a little off the ground and back down. And then keeping the foot off the ground. One more. And down. Good. Step out a bit wider. Bring your palms together in front of the heart. Lean over to the left or shift your weight to the left. With the palms, push them to the left and look to the right. And bring it back to the center. Push to the right, look to the left, back to center. Breathe out as you push to the side. Breathe in as you come back to center. Good, one more time each side. Come back to the middle. Nice heart to the sky. Three times. Walk it in a bit. Let the hands come around. Bring the energy down the body and then out. Here we want to make use of the hips. So as we go out, the hips go back. As the hands come towards us, the hips come forward. So we don't have to move the arms very much at all. The body mechanics do it for us. Just feel that energy cascading down the body, and gathering fresh energy and pouring that down the body. Good. So this time, when you're ready, as you start to come up, pivot and turn to the left, lean back, go all the way down the body, lean forward and lean back, bringing it through the body, forward as you take it away. Turning the prayer wheel. Feels comfortable as you come up. 
shift back to the center. Turn three times here. And then as you go down, you're gonna turn the opposite side, the right side, come back and around. And once again, when you're ready, as you go down, you're going to shift back to the center. Turn three times here. Good, hands back towards the earth, making connections, you step it in a bit. Bring your right hand up to the heart, left hand to just below the belly button, the lower dantian. And just feel that connection. Feel both those dantians filling with warm, loving light. Do a nice deep wave breaths here, wave breathing. And then when you're ready on the exhalation, switch hands. Another deep breath. And again, on the exhalation, drop both hands. Bring down the heavens, gathering the energy. Pushing it down through the top of the head, the by way point, down the torso, down the legs into the ground to be recycled twice more. Good. This time, bring the hands around. Thumb and first finger, index finger, touch, forming a triangle. Let that float down the center line of your body. So you get down to the lower dantian, and the triangle turns towards the earth, sending energy down into the earth, and gathering energy up from the earth bringing it up into the middle dantian, the heart, and then sending it out from the middle dantian into the universe. Then gathering that energy, bringing it into your heart. Lotus flow. So we start again. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Pausing between each 
nice, slow, deliberate, mindful movements. This time we're gonna go down to the earth, gonna gather that earth energy, bring it up to the middle Dantian, send that energy out and hold. Picture red light coming out from the middle Dantian, going through that triangle, just filling the entire universe with this loving energy. And then begin to picture red strings coming out of the heart, going through that triangle and connecting to any one, anything, any group, sending out love, peace, compassion, generosity of spirit. in your mind's eye, just picture those threads attaching to each one of those little pictures and each one of those pictures absorbing that energy, the glow with that energy. Picture a smile on their face. Even inanimate objects can smile. Feel their peace. In a few moments more. I take a nice deep breath in, gathering that energy and bringing it into your chest, into your body. Filling yourself with love, compassion, forgiveness. aware of all the things that you're grateful for. Just feel that sense of love, a sense of peace wash over your body. smile on your face. Nice deep breath in. We're going to start again. Let the hands drop down. Breathing in. Breathing out. Hold this for breath. And on the next inhale, draw it into you and hold that for a nice deep breath.
And as you breathe out, drop the hands down, bringing down the heavens, feet come together. Bring that energy down through the top of the head, down the torso, down the legs. Finish with one palm over the other. Just feel that energy coursing through your body. Allow the energy to spiral down your legs and up your torso. You let your body relax and rock and sway. Bamboo in the wind. Let that energy fill every part of your physical body. And as it moves through, it removes any darkness, any energetic stagnation or blockages. It dispels negative thoughts and emotions until every part of your body is just a glow with this beautiful, warm, loving light. And then allow that energy to expand beyond your physical body. Casing you in a protective cocoon. And as you float weightlessly inside this cocoon, become aware of what it feels like to be safe, to be healthy, to be at peace. Take a deep breath in, gather those feelings, those energies, and take them with you for the rest of the day. Thank you.